In this video, I will show how to make this small top using a wood lathe. So here you see the um, piece of wood. It's a piece of rosewood in the lathe, and I just did a quick test to make sure that it was solidly in the chuck before turning the lathe on. Um, I'm going to make almost the whole top here using a detail gouge. This is a pretty small chisel. So this first set of passes here, I'm just bringing the um, wood into round because it's never going to be perfectly aligned in the chuck there to start with. Um, and now I'm starting to sort of hog out wood to make the rough shape of the handle of the top. Um, I experimented with a bunch of different handle shapes. What I found is that it's best to have the very tip of the handle be slightly larger diameter than the lower part of the handle and this makes it easier for your fingers to grip as you're spinning it. Um, and you'll notice as I bring the chisel from the sort of larger diameter out towards the, towards the tip, towards the handle, I'll roll the chisel as I'm cutting, and that's to keep um, the bevel running right along the, the uh, wood so that you get a nice surface finish off, off of the wood while you're doing this. Um, so I've got the rough shape of the handle in place now, and I'm doing a finish cut to just make it a little bit longer, and, um, and then just clean up some last details. So now I'm going to come in with some 400 grit sandpaper just to do some minor polishing on the handle and sort of get the get the finish nice and smooth on it. Um, you'll notice I have the sandpaper folded and then sort of just moving it around and I'll refold it a few different times here. Um, just to expose new parts that aren't full of dust, and also to sort of get different stiffness in the paper as I'm pushing it along the surface. And here you'll see I roll it the other way so that I can um, get it right into the corner there where the handle meets the, the top. The body of the top, that's the words. So you'll see here that I've made it so that the handle is pointing out and the bottom of the top is going to be the part that I separate. Um, so I did a bunch of experiments making different tops and I found that that was able to uh, most reliably get tops that spun well. Um, but you can do it both ways. So you see now I'm coming in again with the detail gouge and roughing out the lower surface at the top and then removing some extra waste wood on the bottom so that I have room for the chisel to clear in when I have to make the, the final cuts there. Um, now I'm going to come in with a skew chisel and um, just add two details just for decoration. Um, there's a lot of different ways to make these cuts. Um, I don't know that this is the best one, but it works. Um, the only downside is it gets the chisel a little bit hot. You can see I have some smoke coming off it there. Um, but the reason I like doing it that way is that you get very little tear out because you're not so much cutting off fibers as just separating them a little bit. So I'm doing some final cuts here to get the shape of the under part of the top there. You see I got a catch on the chisel there. That was user error on my part. I uh, approached the wood at the wrong angle so the chisel started catching before the bevel, bevel was rutted rubbing, which let the chisel run back along the piece, so that's generally a bad idea. You have to be careful when you're, when you're approaching the wood piece to not have that happen. Um, and so now I'm just sort of more carefully removing material. Now I'm just coming in with some sandpaper to clean up the bottom of the top here. And again, I'm just sort of moving the sandpaper around and putting in different orientations. So now I'll come in to do the finishing cuts with the detail gouge here. So I'm going to try to be careful to get the, the bevel to sort of pick up a smooth transition from the part that I just sanded. Um, so it looks nice and continuous. And I'm just doing some finish cuts in. And you'll see when I'm ready to cut the top off, what I'm going to do is make my last finish cuts 
I'll sort of make the finish cut all the way in, and then when I get to the very bottom, I'm going to roll the chisel all the way up on its side, and sort of press in while pulling back, and cutting more off of the stock than the top, so that I don't um, break it too early. And that gets you a really nice finish on the tip, so that it spins correctly. Seems here's the top off the lathe, and um, now I'll spin it on a little cutting board that I'm working on, and you can see it spins pretty well. So, I hope you found that interesting. Um, feel free to leave any questions um, in the comments below, and um, happy woodworking!